I'm uh, Emma Friedman and I campaign for Facts Aware. I'd just like to say to everybody who's been involved in the campaign for Primados, for Valproate, for Mesh, over the years, you've done a brilliant job and what we've achieved in getting this review and our delight at its uh, recommendations. We've done really, really well. Excellent. You know, I think we can all be really, really proud of what we've achieved. There are many other medications that can cause harm and a couple that have come to light recently, benzodiazepines, SSRIs, Seroxat, HPV vaccine, mefloquine, and then there are the other devices that have caused harm. There are the hip implants, there are breast implants, and my recent concern is Eurolift. Now's the time for all of us to celebrate our achievements and make sure that we hold this government to account and make sure that they act on the recommendations by Baroness Cumberledge and the Independent Medicines and Medical Devices Safety Review. We've achieved this together, all of us. Now one thing that you can tell your friends and family about is the yellow card. If you suspect that you or someone you know, someone you care for, has an adverse drug reaction or an adverse device reaction, please report it using the yellow card. The yellow card can then collect this data and hopefully we'll have a patient safety commissioner who will make sure that the MHRA is following up on the reports about adverse drug and devices reactions. Well done everybody. The Facts Acquire crew, all right, we've decided we don't want a public inquiry into medicines and devices regulation and licensing. But we do think that now is a time to access justice. Now is a time to have a public inquiry into access to justice for victims of pharmaceutical and medical devices harm. I hope that all of you out there can join with us in your groups and that we can work together to get access to justice, contributions from the pharmaceutical industry, responsible prescribing, responsible surgery, care and compensation packages for ourselves, for those we love, to provide us with the financial security that we need. Thank you so much, everybody. This has just been an incredibly emotional day. I'm sure you've all had lots of media interviews, and well done, because without us giving interviews, our voice would not have got out there. We've been let down so many times, and now we know that we've got the peer support in our groups. We know that, that we can do this together. Today is a good step in the right direction. But our battle for care compensation, safe medicines, safe devices and justice has to continue. So I hope that, well, we're going to do it anyway. We're just going to do it.